Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another random Wikipedia article of the day. My name is Colin Allen, and I am your host. I apologize for not being around. Uh, you know how things are sometimes, or maybe you don't, but uh, that's how they are anyway. Today's topic, random Wikipedia article, if you will, is Ariosa Matinee, also known as Willie Aphids, subfamily Ariosa Matinee are sucking insects Oh, that live on plant fluids <clears throat> and produces a filamentous waxy white covering which resembles cotton or wool oh yeah you've seen that when you're like walking through a field or whatever if you've ever walked through a field maybe you maybe you haven't uh, but sometimes like on, on, on little bits of grass or plant or something like that it looks like somebody like spit up into the grass it's like I'd say it looks more like spit than cotton or wool. Or maybe I'm thinking of something else. But that's what I'm thinking. The adults are winged and move to new locations where they lay their egg masses. Masses of eggs. The larvae often form large cottony masses on twigs for protection from predators. They come from Japan. <laughs> that kind of seems like a... Not a bit of a non sequitur. Uh, the woolly apple aphid is a pest for fruit growers. Many of the numerous species of woolly aphids have only one host plant species or alternating generations on two specific hosts. In flight, they have been described as looking like flying mice. Hmm, that's strange. Um, and are given nicknames like fluff bugs, fairy flies, or fuzz butts. <laughs> Due to their whimsical appearance, some parents tell children that they carry wishes, live in tulips, and much like fairies are born every time you make a wish on a dandelion. Very magical creatures these woolly aphids are. If you'd like to learn more information about Aerosomatinae, or woolly aphids, then you can visit wikipedia.org slash wiki slash ariosomatine. I'm not going to spell it for you, so you can look down in the description and click on the link. It's easier to do it that way anyway, because with Wikipedia, if you, I noticed if you type in the, uh, the search, if you don't do it like um, with their a, uh, the, uh, caps, you know, lowercase or uppercase, if, if there are that differences in the way you're typing it and the way that they have done it, then it won't find the site, which is, is just stupid in my opinion. In my opinion. But anyway, as I have said, that is it. But as I have said, that is it for today. And, uh, well, if you're looking forward, you know, to the next Wikipedia article, you know, make sure to subscribe and, uh, you know, like down there. Click the, the, the thumbs up. And, uh, and, uh, and I'll keep doing them. Um, uh, hopefully I'll, I'll have, you know, more time to be doing them and, uh, and you'll have some time to watch them. Uh, if you haven't seen the, my previous uh, random Wikipedia articles of the day, go back and, uh, and check those out. I'll leave some links down in the description once again. Uh, and, and maybe I'll put a little, um, a little uh, thing here to click on to go to a previous one. And when I have a future one, if... I have a future one, which I, I'm pretty sure I will. It'll be over here. All right. Sound good? How's that? All right. Talk to you later. See ya on another time. The woolly apid ape. <laughs> the woolly ap. You're really gonna laugh at me when I uh, say the word that that I'm not pronouncing correct. Correctly. The word that I'm trying to pronounce here is apple. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, if you guessed apple, you win a prize. The prize is, um, uh, I will shake your hand. Um, the woolly apid, <laughs> damn it. Woolly apple aphid, woolly apple aphid. Uh, once I get that, that down, I need to look ahead, is a pest for fruit growers. Now I know the rest of the sentence so that when I get through the woolly apple aphid, I can get through the rest of the sentence, which is, is a pest for fruit growers. Here we go.